Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa bad assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my distinguished brothers and sisters watching me across the globe this is another series of ours insha'Allah which will be talking about civility in Islam this episode 1 up to the end of the episode number 25 insha'Allah will be discussing about civility in Islam, I will be using the modern of PM phoning. In Islam, what we mean by civility is uh, politeness, simplicity, good manners, good conduct and characters, gentleness, respect for others, respect for the opinion of others, anything that has to do with good uh, in terms of character and conduct attitude is what civility is all about. Islam has established these civilities eh, about 1,442 years ago. So they are not new times in Islam and they are not new things in Islam. In Islam, the first thing we will discuss is pay attention as part of civility which Islam approves. Pay attention to others. Pay attention to the people that talk to you. Pay attention to the people that need your attention. Pay attention to your family, your children, your friends, and the public. Don't be arrogant. Always give them your maximum attention. It's not good and it's not part of civility at all for someone to be talking to you while you are uh, looking something in your phone or watching a television and uh, claiming that you are still listening to them is not part of civility at all the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to pay attention uh, to people he used to pay attention to, to, to things that are contributive uh, to the religion of islam and that is what is referred to uh, as civility Remember Allah the Almighty challenged the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam eh, in, in the Glorious Quran, Surah al abasa chapter 80 of the Glorious Quran, verse 1 to 8. When a blind man, Abdullah ibn Umi Maktoum, came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wanted the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to preach to him. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam turned away, thinking that uh, preaching to the figures of Quraysh will fetch him more eh, than what you may have from or you may get from Ibn Umm Maktoum. Then Allah the Almighty challenged my Abbasa wa Tawalla and Jawul Ama. We are all aware of this story. So pay attention to anybody. As long as the person needs your attention, eh, pay attention to me because when you pay attention to somebody, eh, it, it is by that time we are doing justice to the presence of those people. We are telling those people that they are worth our attention and they are worth our presence. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, any time he sent uh, some army for a mission and he heard that they are coming on the way, he will move out of the town, go and receive them. This is part of the uh, what we call habit of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In another hadith, transmitted by Imam Tirmizi. Anas ibn Malik told us that uh, he has a younger brother, a very small boy, uh, called uh, Abu Umair. Whenever the Prophet Sallallahu came into their house to visit them, the Prophet Sallallahu would pay good attention to this small boy, Abu Umair. Abu Umair used to have a, a, a bird, that bird uh, called Nugair, a small bird with a red head. Then the Prophet Sallallahu came in one day and he looked at the boy. The boy was not feeling good. The boy was, uh, he was in sorrow. And the Prophet Sallallahu asked uh, what, what was the problem. And he was told that uh, the bird died. Then since that day, Anas told us that whenever the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came into their house, he will pay his attention directly to that small boy and say, Yeah, Abba Umair. Ma fa'alan no Oh, you Abu Umair. Eh? Why? Why did this bird die? This bird shouldn't have died. A small boy. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paying attention to him. 
And that is how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do to almost everybody, irrespective of his religion or his, uh, what call his tribe and whosoever he may be. So this is part, this is civility number one. Take it right, because Islam approached it about 1,400 years ago. Thank you. We meet in another episode, inshallah. Jazakumullah wa khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.